What is going on guys, it's Jack here back once again with another Battlefield 4 video. Now today, I'm going to be starting a new series called Versus. Um, now basically in the series what I'm going to do is take two items. For now it's just going to be ones that I choose, but if you guys would love to leave feedback, I will definitely go with the feedback that you give. But like I said for now, sticking with what I feel um, I think is a good review to dis you know distinguish two items. So let's just get started with the first one here. And that would be the difference between zoom optics, IRNV optics, and thermal optics for vehicles. Now, going through a quick little description here, the zoom optics is pretty self-explanatory. It is just the zoom that zooms in. I don't know the exact uh, number. I think it's three times the magnification when activated. You got your IRNV, which is your typical night vision, as you would expect, consists of green, yellows, and I guess maybe some dark blacks, I don't know, mainly greens and yellows. And then you have your thermal optics, which consists of your black and white. That is very simple, and that is what is most commonly used in this modern age, I guess you can say. So, let's just, like I said, get right into this, starting with the zoom optics. Now, zoom optics, I'm not going to be saying why I'd recommend or why I wouldn't recommend or anything, because I feel that um, this video has a very clear winner but yet not clear and i'll get into why i think that in a bit but for now we're going to be talking about the zoom optics we're going to start with zoom then go on to irnv and then go on to thermal so zoom optics i would definitely recommend this attack or this little optics for any vehicle because it does let you scope in a lot a lot more now one con i guess you could say to this is you know if you zoomed in someone could see for you but honestly i would not consider that a con so really there is no con to this zoom optics. That's what most people actually prefer. And honestly, that is something that I do prefer myself. So zoom optics, pretty self-explanatory. I'm not going to get into detail much with zoom optics because it's what you'd expect onto the IRNV optics now. So these are the enhanced infrared night vision that will make heat signatures easily distinguishable at close to medium ranges. Which means that when you're at a close to medium range, you will be able to see a yellow figure uh, surrounded by a dark green background. But the further they get out, that will slowly blend into the green, making it pretty much impossible to see them. Now there are several clips where I try to almost switch to that and like see. You can definitely tell that it do does not um, distinguish easily. It is very blended in with the rest of the sky, land, sea, whatever you want to say. So basically, the IRNV optics, they're decent, but to be honest, I, I wouldn't really recommend them. Um, they're, they're good to start with, I guess, and yeah, you can see people in close range, but if you notice in this gameplay, I don't have really any IRNV footage. That is because I personally don't like them at all, and honestly, the only reason I did get gameplay for them was to get footage for this, so... That's a pro, I guess, but other than that, don't recommend it. If you just have it and you do want to see people at close, this is a good alternative, but I would definitely say that the thermal optics within these two optics with the heat signatures would be the better option. So the third option we have is the thermal optics. Thermal optics, um, this is basically the same thing as the RNV, except it displays it as... Um, white and black and it's basically like I mean it's a black and white night vision system that shows heat signatures across all ranges so whether they are super far out super close you will see the heat signature and that is a huge plus like 100% amazing because there are countless times where you know whether it be I'm looking in the distance at something or if I'm you know maybe on siege of Shanghai and I want to see if there's anyone up in the you know the skyscraper camping and stuff just looking up popping that thermal optics checking seeing if anyone's on the edge that i can get a quick hit off of that would be that's really nice for the thermal optics but now with the rnv you're gonna you know it's definitely not worth it you can't see anything it's just gonna be dark green so thermal optics between the two um night vision optics Thermal optics by far, 100%, is the winner between the two. But now when it comes down to zoom and thermal, that's where it gets a little tough because 
there are different circumstances where you would want to use both. And like I said, most people do prefer the zoom optics, but I do believe that thermal optics have their own pros that is makes the thermal optics a little underrated. So let's just dive into, you know, versing these two now. So the, the pros to the thermal optics, I would definitely say are obviously the biggest one by far. You can see people when you probably could not see them, i.e. they were hiding in a bush, you know, just in foliage or you just blind and can't see them, I guess. I mean, those are the pros to thermal optics. Now, the cons to thermal optics, though, is you can't zoom in and that doesn't seem like such a huge deal. But if you're in a vehicle and you realize you can't zoom in, it does take some time to get used to and it does take um, a different type of skill to be able to launch your shots off. So thermal optics definitely good for what i just said with the it's mainly just being able to see stuff that's all it's really good for and it does a really good job of it thermal optics you know you can definitely tell the enemy is clear night and day there are some circumstances though where it does become a little bit harder such as on gold mud railway all the sand uh once you turn it on it, it's fine and then it slowly turns it seems white and then all the sand is just like everything just kind of seems to go really white and I, I mean, it makes sense because it is a heat signature, so it does pick up the heat from the ground, which is really cool, but kind of a con because it is a little bit harder to see. And that's just, yeah, kind of a problem. But with the zoom optics, obviously you can zoom in and you don't have a problem. You see the map as it normally is, and that is that. But for the zoom optics, the main pros I definitely say is you can zoom in, and you never have to kind of change your way of thinking, if that makes sense, because it's the same map, same everything, you're just zoomed in as you would expect. Pretty self-explanatory, that's why I don't have any footage in this video um, of me showing the zoom optics, because that is, like I said, self-explanatory. And so yeah, that's pretty much it. What I'd recommend for the, you know, for the setup for any vehicle, I would say stick to zoom optics personally i would say that zoom optics is your all overall best uh optic to go with but some might say that is it is a situational um ordeal like some maps it changes and i i agree with that too so if you prefer thermal optics over zoom optics obviously use it but i would recommend zoom optics for anyone who wants to you know have a nice time and just you'll know what's going on okay you won't get disoriented you won't have any of that so that's it guys thank you so much for watching keep up the good work i'm at i think 220 subs that's amazing thank you guys so much definitely be keeping up the good content see you guys later and peace out